This course is a unique opportunity to gain skills in interdisciplinary population health research. We look at the factors that influence our health and well-being, be those where we live, where we work, where we grew up, where we live at the end of life, equipping you to become a key figure in health sector globally. Population health is a way in through which you can understand and study the world more broadly. It gives you an insight into all kinds of different factors that are associated with people's health worldwide, and that's so fascinating. Protecting and improving health uh, is a common concern uh, around the world. Why they come to UCL is because we have this extraordinary tradition in population health and a particularly extraordinary tradition within the UK of highlighting inequalities in health. So I actually, I used to want to do um, medicine and then I went through a phase of wanting to do geography um, because I did population health actually in my geography course for A-level. Um, and then I did lots of research online and this course came up and for me it was perfect because it was the perfect mix of doing something that's still within the medical sciences um, kind of region but also having lots of geography in there too. So in the first year we do social determinants of health, principles of social science research, principles of population health, that kind of thing. We do have a lot of lectures but also because of our course size a lot of them feel more like seminars so it's more interactive as opposed to being someone talking at you for three hours. My favourite element of the course is the Q-step module um, because even though it is, it's really challenging, it's the most rewarding. So we look at large files of data and then we manipulate that data using statistical methods and we make graphs, making data more accessible for people. As someone who studies population health, these are the sort of problems that we like to solve. So it's things that would be considered everyday issues, but we look at them maybe on a national level and ways that we can reduce them as a population as opposed to just looking at the individual. I was always interested in, in health as a whole and all the different aspects of health, but I didn't really know how to measure it and how uh, by measuring uh, health in populations through different measurement methods that you can actually find different uh, um, different causes of ill health um, and that can be things like non-communicable diseases but also infectious diseases. What I love about this degree is that it looks at all of these different aspects of health, it's really broad, it really touches on all these different areas, it's not just about the biological, it's not just um, how our bodies age or, or what we do to our bodies, it's very much affected by all these different factors through political drivers, systems and structures, uh, through social policies, I think this really builds you up to, um, to make an impact anywhere. You're going to be having to look at not just statistics uh, or the profile of diseases, what we call epidemiology, uh, but we're also going to have to look at why health is at a certain level in a population. And to do that, we need to understand some economics, we need to understand some politics, we need to understand anthropology, we need to understand things like uh, gender relations and so on. Um, so population health is a way in through which you can understand and study the world more broadly. Because I've been heavily involved in sports like from a young age, I was really interested to see what sort of different things such as sport and what else can affect our health and obviously I think that's the most important thing to us as humans. My dissertation is a cross-country comparison between England and the USA and I'm going to be comparing levels of physical activity in children aged 11 to 15. What I have also learned through the degree and we've done modules like health and behaviour and it is targeting these things as early as we possibly can so making sure that children receive enough physical education provision and green spaces and yeah tackling these issues from as early as possible. Population health inspires and excites because it deals with real-world practical problems which concern us all. There's extraordinary different things that you can do. Um, it's about not just meeting humanitarian needs, but also highlighting crises so that something can be done about them as well. I think if you're thinking of doing this degree, I think um, 
definitely do some reading ahead. Think about what your passions are, think about um, your strengths and your weaknesses, and, and think about maybe where you might want to end up um, in terms of a career. I think they prep you really well, they, they really build you up from scratch, and they have really, they've got practical-based um, learning where you can really uh, develop those skills. So if you're looking at measuring health, but also data analysis, I think they really build you up from, from scratch, so it's good. Whatever you do, I think you're going to flourish.